Hey, what's up, investors? Jason here. So we're going to be doing a quick technical analysis and price prediction on Cardano. Now, currently we have Cardano still working on trying to just have its breakout. We still have not seen that, even though we got the massive hard fork. We were hoping that we would see more of a price break, but seeing the price of Bitcoin still down as much as it is, it is preventing that price movement with Cardano that we very much need. Now, looking at things with Cardano right now, this is the the um, bull market support band i've talked about it a couple times now in videos now we're on the other side of this right now so we call this the bear market resistance band and as you can see as things have been consolidating here we are moving closer and closer on being on the other side of this now it's just it's just a while more than likely until we do eventually uh, force a breakthrough on this bull market support band and that's just going to happen uh, just due to the fact that we've consolidated so much within this timeline i mean looking at the price of cardano from mid-may on into now there really hasn't been much price change if we go up we go down we keep coming back around that 40 cent price and it, there's just uh, these these movements within that price that aren't really taking us much of anywhere at this moment so this consolidation could end up being something that could lead us into hopefully a breakout because as we do uh, as we do have some confirmation here of multiple bottoms that we've just continued to hit and uh the price still has not had any sort of uh, breakout from this so We've, we've hit these bottoms multiple times, and it's just my opinion that it's a matter of time until we do see things just to give out and to see that price move to that upside. Um, and, and specifically saying that due to this uh, this more recent consolidation that we've seen since we saw some price movements in mid-August, and things since then have been consolidating uh, much more. So um, interesting stuff to really pay attention to because more than likely this movement to the upside could be um, could be something that could potentially happen. I highly doubt that if we did see more movement to the downside, that it would be able to go down much at all, uh, just due to the fact that the price has has continued to recover around this same amount. Now, another thing that's worth pointing out is these moving averages that we have, because now you can see that the 20 and the 50 day moving average are in tandem at this moment. And we have that 100 day moving average that has been continuously dropping as well as the 200 day moving average. And it's not gonna be long until we see this 200 day moving average really have to start taking more of a dip because right now it's moving average is around 65 cents. But since we're talking about mid-May on into now with the price of Cardano, mostly averaging prices between 40 cents and 50 cents then you got to expect that we're going to see this drop happen even more here soon so uh, as we're consolidating so much it's also not going to be very hard to see the price of ada break above this 200 day moving average and i think when that happens if we get a nice decent break above that 200 day moving average i think we're going to see a bit more momentum so this is how things are kind of just lining up right now the the price has just been trading sideways for so long that in my opinion, it's going to have to potentially force a breakout. Every time we see the price attempt to break through, say like the 100 day moving average, uh, we see resistance there. But now that that 100 day moving average is just dropping significantly, I mean, right now it's at around 50 cents at this moment. It's not going to be very hard for the price of ADA to reach a 50 cent price and go above that 100 day moving average, which is something that it has not been able to achieve since basically March or April. So. I mean, when you think about it like that, there's potential here to see some pretty good price movements if this trend is going to continue for much longer, in my opinion. I don't think that there's really much that it can continue. Now, using one of these bottoms here for this Fibonacci retracement going from mid-July on into now, but using that high price that we had on August 13th or August 14th around there, so from July 13th to August 14th, we had seen a pretty significant price move from around 40 cents to 60 cents at that time. And then since then, we quickly ended up seeing a pretty fast um, decline in the price. We retraced a lot of those gains that we did have in a five wave move, uh, move down. And then since then, we've had this, this correction here, we can call it a ABC correction. And now we're trying to figure out, is this another uh, five waves down or what exactly is this right here, uh, which I did put in a five, a five wave impulse system. 
just to use that theory, but we can also just say that this is within a, a W X Y pattern. And now we're working on a possible correction from here. But another thing that's worth pointing out is if you're someone that, that follows the price moves with, uh, with trends and you look at the way that we have this trend right here with this price and you look at how things have consolidated when you do have a triangle pattern like this, and, and it's moving that way to that downside. Well, it's well, we call it a, a, a falling wedge, but usually that's a, a bullish, a bullish pattern there. So what usually happens when they continue to consolidate downwards like this, then that upside is going to kick in at some point. And that's also when you will get that price movement. Now we, we did have these predictions that were put in here thinking that the Basel hard fork would have some sort of momentum, but obviously the interest rate hikes and things like that really outshined the possibilities of seeing the price of ADA doing such things. So we're falling right into that very low point of our bearish prediction of where we thought the price of ADA would have gone. Uh, a bullish prediction was seeing that retracement of this fifth wave that we had to the upside in mid August. So that was where we were thinking that the month of September would have ended at uh, sometime around there or the beginning of October. So that's not been the case. We're, we're definitely ending on that, that bearish side, but this is just locking in that other bottom. You know, we've had so many of these price bottoms at 40 cents that uh, looking at things, I mean, even though we'll see these big candlesticks, there's really not much price movements here at all. Um, when you think about it with the fact that we're just moving in pennies and, uh, and nothing more. Now, a lot of what we're seeing though is just due to the fact that we're following along with Bitcoin. We have Bitcoin under um, we're moving around between 19,000 and $18,000, not a whole lot putting Bitcoin up much at all. So looking at Cardano right now, and then looking at Bitcoin, you can see that there's just so much similarities with the the two different cryptocurrencies um, with Cardano just following with what Bitcoin is doing. And also worth looking at the, the ADA Bitcoin chart here, which is slightly different. We do have ADA moving a little bit more than what we have um, Bitcoin doing, but at the same time, there's just so much similarities within the, the ADA and Bitcoin uh, price movements that there's there's no change here that is uh, benefiting Cardano with uh, with Bitcoin. So what, hopefully what we see, we'll see some upside with Bitcoin and um, and Bitcoin possibly going, you know, above twenty thousand dollars here soon. And that would be something that could be very bullish for Cardano. But right now, you know, Cardano's price is not going to move unless Bitcoin moves. So that's what's really keeping things down right now at this moment. So anyways, though, um, as far as where do I think the price of Cardano is going to go? here in the short term, you know, I'm really hoping that this consolidation that we're seeing and the, the price coming down within this following wedge, that possibly this is going to lead us into a, a price movement to the upside. Hopefully we'll at least pro probably by the first week of, of October, possibly work our way back up to this 50% Fibonacci level is where, where I'm hoping we'll be. Um, and that's somewhere around that that 50 cent price. And that's going to take us into that 100 day moving average that we might be able to break out of it. So, I mean, that's not really that much price movement at all, if you think about it, because even here in the month of September, we were above 50 cents for a while there. We had made it to 52 cents. So 50 cents, a uh, move to 50 cents, that would take us into that 100 day moving average. And hopefully that would be that little nudge that would be what we would need to see um, some more price movements with Cardano. So anyways, I just wanted to focus really on, on those different, those different indicators, look at the the bull market support bands and look at the moving averages and just show how much this consolidation has led us into an area that could put us into possibly a bullish situation is what I'm hoping for. So we'll see how things play out. I don't really think that there's much time that ADA has to continue to consolidate like it is before there has to be some sort of price movement to the upside. So we'll see how it plays out. So anyways, I'll leave this here. I hope you guys were able to, to gain something from it or maybe to take something in from this. Um, I'm trying to be uh, explain a bit more within the technicals as I do it. And as far as this price prediction, like I'm saying, I'm hoping that we're going to 
be within this week here going upwards around that 50 cent price and working our way through that 100 day moving average so anyways with that being said please like share comment subscribe talk about plenty of other cryptocurrencies every single day uh, new content coming out all the time i will see you all in the next one thank you for watching